worship you for me. in Jesus' name, uh, them that are in Africa, Kenya, and even in the diaspora. This is Redeemed Gospel Church, Uruma, where everybody is somebody under the Archbishop Ata Kitonga and Mama Bishop Josephine Kitonga, even through and under Bishop John Kitonga. We thank God because of this wonderful time again that we can share the word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the um, mouth of God. And that's why we can still confess and say we are strong in the Lord. So I encourage you to be together with me for a few minutes that we may share the word of God, the powerful word of God in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you are God above every other God's. And I thank you because you are able to save, you are able to heal, you are able to satisfy. At times such as this, uh, there are people who are devastated. There are people who are sick. But Lord, we bring this word even to their phones, their houses. Oh God, that you may prove to be God. Jehovah Adonai, the Lord God who owns everything. You own everything, Lord. And we thank you because you are going to see us through, even in this situation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you for the minutes that are ahead of us. Thank you for the word that we are going to speak, O oh God. Thank you for the, he, the hearer the, that are seeing me, O oh God. I thank you for their lives. Thank you, Jesus, because you are going to heal and even bring somebody up from the danger and from the dungeon. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody say it, amen. Today... I want us to see something that is very important. And I want to come to you personally. And the heading of my message today is personal contact with the, the divine helper. A time has come that we have to realize 
that God wants us to fellowship with him. He wants us to talk with him at a personal level. One on one. Whereby you open your mouth and you have a fellowship with him. He is calling every man, every woman, every young man, every child to have a personal contact and fellowship with him. It is not enough for you to assume the communication that God wants you to have with him. It is very important, very vital, and very powerful. The communication that you have between you and God, the two personalities, God and man, Almighty oh, God. Very important. That is where we find God is searching for the hearts and searching for men, searching for people that can worship Him and fellowship with Him in spirit and in truth. This is a matter. Of your heart. Where is your heart? Your heart must be right. With the one that is able to help you. You have to leave other things. And focus unto God. Such a time as this. It is a dangerous moment. It is a dangerous time. That even the world is shaken. Even the people that you knew could not be shaken, are shaken. Oh, it's time that things are going haywire. People are worried. People are fearful. But we are going to depend upon the one that when we contact, he will help us. The helper is coming. Oh, Shaka Talaba. God asked Adam, where are you? Why? It is because a time came that he created him. And he made him to be in the land and in the garden of Eden. There was a time he, he was coming every moment to fellowship and to talk to him. Oh, Shakata, talking to him and even hearing him. And Adam could hear God and God could hear Adam. A time came that the fellowship, the personal contact was di disrupted. And God asked, where are you? Where, where are you? Right now, God is asking many people. Some of the people were coming to church because of good music, because of good worship because of good preaching. They were coming to church because of the charisma. Charisma. They were coming into the church because of a friend. They were coming into the church because of a relative. But a time has come that you need to know that God wants personal, personal contact with him. That he may help you. Our time of help has come. Our time of fellowship. Sweet fellowship with God. That you can even kneel down. 
that you can even lift up your hands and you are not ashamed. You can even shout Jesus and you are not ashamed whereby you can have that strength and confidence in the one that saved you, the one that brought you even into his marvelous light, the one that brought you from the dungeon, the one that brought you from the wickedness and even the things and the sins of the world. And he brought you up and to, made you to be in the garden. He wants you to fellowship with him. The questions that you have are the questions to be directed to God, not to be directed to somebody else, not to be directed to other people. Direct these questions to God. There is an answer somewhere in God. There is a solution somewhere in God. There is a solution somewhere with the one that you are in contact with. Shaka, Reka, the one that you are in one with, the one that you have united with, is the one that gives the power. He's the one that gives the strength. He's the one that heals the sick. He's the one that lifts the, the, the people that are downtrodden. He is the one that is able. He is able. I'm telling you, he is able. Even today, he is able to raise and to lift you to another level. Receive the lifting in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the lifting. Receive the lifting. It is now high time that we come back to God on a personal level. Sit down and hear what God is saying. Where are you? You are away. There. Things that are happening in the world. And even right now, we are told to stay home. Staying home. Ah. It has never happened that people don't come together in the church. But we have been told to stay home. How are you staying home? How? What do you do right now? Whom do you fellowship with? Because there are people that, you, that can deviate your mind from fellowshipping with God. It is time that when the distress comes, we get in contact with the one that is able to bring us even to himself. The problems of the house rents, the problems that are, oh my goodness, you have never stayed in the house that long. You have never stayed with your wife that long. You have never stayed with your children that long. But now you are staying with them. You are hearing them. Sometimes these problems and house, uh, house problems, the fightings are coming because we are directing our problems to the wrong place. God is the solution. House violence needs not to happen right now. Why? needs wise people who take their problems and have a contact, divine contact, with the right man who is the helper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Because houses are getting healed. There is a mother that has never stayed with that man for a long time in the house, 
but I'm telling you, when you will seek the contact with the one that made you, the one that is able, even it will be very easy to stay with him. Atakuwa kikwazo. Atakuwa mwema na utampenda wakati wowote. Baba utampenda huyo mama vile anavyotembea mbele yako kwa nyumba you will still love her the way she is and you will continue to love your children even when they make noise you will still love them even when they drive and they do things in the house some of the children are are really uh, uh, hyper they can drive stools they drive buckets they drive they drive uh, chairs they 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 climb up they they fall down but now you are staying with them you are staying where will you go you must direct everything to the one that is able to help you adam was created for the fellowship and he, God said, I need to go back and find this person. Adam said, I heard that voice, but I was afraid. What is the problem? I had a condemnation in my heart. I was not strong. My faith was wavering. I didn't have somebody to encourage me. I found myself alone. Listen, even in this situation, as you are alone and you are born again, never be condemned in your heart. When you have believed in Jesus, therefore there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ the Lord. Hey, you need to walk. You need to talk. You need to communicate with the one that saved you. God wants close association. Your association with God he, he has a room for close association. God wants us to know him more than even the way we have known him. Paul said that I may know him even with the power of his resurrection. He wrote books, but he didn't know him still. We need to know him in this time, at this moment, this way, in this place. In this house where you are, we need to know him. What is driving you to know God? Personal heart desire must make you to desire more of God. More of God. More of God. More of God in you. May you decrease that God may be lifted in your life. More of God, less of me. Who am I? Oh, you need to serve God with all that you have. The main reason for us to live and to be alive today is to relate to relate with God. And uh, we need to relate with him alone as we live. <laughs> Some people will not understand you. But thank God you have a relationship with God. The relationship with God is permanent. Whatever the promise that is related 
to your relationship. It is permanent. Oh, shaka. And uh, Paul went somewhere to preach. And he found so many altars. And these altars had the names. But there is one that didn't have. The one that was said and was written to the unknown God. And Paul said, the one that you don't know, I'm introducing him to you. I'm bringing the one that you don't know. The one that, 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 that created you, you don't know. The one that you are not seeing right now, but is there. He is the one that we need to relate with. And he said, in the book of Acts chapter number 17, and verse number 28, for in him we move, and in him we live, and in him we have our being. Relationship. Personal relationship. Almighty oh, God. Jesus wants us to relate with him. To have a contact with him. We find a little maid in the book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse number 25. But when the people were put forth, he went in. And took her by the hand, and the maid arose. In other words, in our dead situations, people are there. But our relationship with Jesus will bring us back to life. The maid was dead, but Jesus touched her. And made her to arise. May you arise. May you arise. In the name of Jesus. And Jesus caused this maid. To arise and came back to life. What a joy. For this village. For this mama. For this house. That somebody has come back to life. What a privilege. That Jesus could relate and come in and touch somebody by his hand. Now, you have to create the atmosphere, even of relationship with God. It is not about people. It's about you. 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 Relating with the one that created you. We find the demoniac person. In Mark 9, 27, but Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him and he rose. The devil must leave us. When we relate with Jesus, the devil must leave us. Shakata. Jesus will hold us, will hold everything that is possessed and will rise again. There is a rising because Jesus rose again. You will arise in your situation. The demons left. They flew. The lame man we find the anointing and the relationship of Jesus coming to Peter. This relationship that you will have will cause your family. To rise up. Why? Because this 
this anointing is sure. When you relate with Jesus, he said, you will do even more miracles than I did. In the book of uh, Acts chapter number 3 and verse number 7, and he took him by the right hand and he lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. That is Peter. We find Dorcas being raised by Peter. Restoring life. You must be restored. Peter restored. Life for, even for Dorcas. In Acts chapter 9 and verse 41. And he gave her his hand. And lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows. Presented her alive. Your hand. The relationship that you will have with God. Will bring life. Darkness arise. And go. And he presented him. Ah, he presented her. To the widows and the saints alive. Whatever you touch, when you have a relationship, when you have personal contact with the divine helper, which is God, death will not come in your family. In the name of Jesus. When you have contact with Jesus. He is able. To bring healing. And healing in your family. Will be permanent. The woman. Which had disease, an issue of blood, 12 years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. That is the hand of, of somebody touching Jesus. This woman was sick 12 bad years. Not 12 good years, bad years. She spent everything. But she came closer to the one. Personally. Personally. She decided that I will penetrate. I will walk in. I will go through. Even when the other people are saying, I am smelling. Even if it calls for kneeling down, I will kneel down. Even if it is calls for touching the hem, and leave, leave, I will leave everything to God. Touching the hem. And she touched the hem. When she touched the hem, that is the time when Jesus felt, oh, Personal contact with the helper. Personal contact with the helper. May you have a personal contact with the helper today. That every disease in your life may be healed. Have you decided to walk with him? Akuji tu. Navitu viji tu. Lazima ujipiganie. Since time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent must take it by force. I am taking mine by force. Yes, take yours by force. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
take yours by force in the name of Jesus. Decide in your heart personally in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. And touch, 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 touch the hem of Jesus by faith in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. May that disease cease. May that blood flow cease. May that chest pain cease. May that even the tuberculosis cease. May blood sugar cease. In the mighty hyper blood pressure. May it cease in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. As I close. There are so many examples. But we find Jesus secured health and comfort for those who touched him. They secured health. You must secure health. You find that Jesus had the quieting touch and he touched her hand and the fever left her and she arose and ministered unto, unto them. That is Matthew 8, 15. Alimguza fever Ikaisha Joto, siku hizi watu wanapimwa kwa kichwa kwa supermarket. Unapimwa, ni kama mtu anaenda kupiga bunduki. Oh my goodness. Na hii corona imeleta shida. Mwingine wanapimwa kwa masikio. Fever. Ukipatikana na fever, kando. Wewe quarantine. Lakini Hapa tunapata yesu. Aliyepata mtu akiwa na fever ndiyo. Haku mweka quarantine. Haku mweka kando. Haku mtoroka. Kwa mana watu wakipata mtu akiwa na temperature. Wanampuliza na moshi ingine. Yenye hatuja elewa. Wanapuliza, wanasema Sasa huyu ni mkando Maisha yake kando yeah, Untouchable, untouchable Yani untouchable Lakini hapa, fever, Jesus Touched her hey, And she arose And she ministered to them Aliwapatia chai Chai ndio ya watu walio koka Chai Coffee Oh my goodness Jesus is able to give you a reassuring touch. That is the one that I'm closing with. Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. <laughs> He came and touched them. He touched them. Touch. And they arose. And he told them, Musiogope tena. Mungu anakurejeshea ujasiri. Anakuletea ujasiri ya kiungu. Na wenye wanamujua mungu wao, watafanya mambo makubwa. Baada ya haya yote, mambo makubwa ya tafanyika. Hata sasa, kuna mtu anainuka kwenye kitanda. Kuna inuka, mtu anainuka kwenye kitanda. Kuna mtu anapokea amani ndani ya maisha yake. Nataka niombe kwa jili ya kila moja. Karika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Wewe ulie pale. Kuna mambo mawili. Jambo la kwanza. Je, ukoje peke yako personally. 
Yes, I know you have a lot. But personally, do you have a relationship with God? I'm talking about your maker, not religion. I'm talking about your heart. Not you going to church, talking to you. If you want to give your life to Jesus, just say these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you personally. Save me from the impending danger. Bring me back. Restore me. Heal me. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Secondly, I want to pray for them that I have needs. You have a need. You can just lift up your hand. The needs that you have. There is a divine touch that God is going to bring in your life because you have decided personally. Father, I pray for every need. Them that are lacking food. Oh, Shaka. Oh, Jesus. Them that are lacking food. Them that are the widows. The orphans. Oh, God. The orphans. The widows that are desperate. Oh, God. They don't have anywhere to go. Right now, in the name of Jesus, bring somebody in their lives. I pray for every woman that doesn't have a job and desires a job. May you get a job. I pray for every man that desires to have a job. May you have a job in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. Say again, thank you, Jesus. Say again, thank you, Jesus. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord bless your family in Jesus' name. Amen. You are worthy.